and Marab, right here to your left. Yes. Uh, obviously a huge fight, you know, going to try to solidify that title shot, get the win streak uh, to 10. Just tell me how significant this one feels compared to some of the other fights you've had of late. It's a big fight, but actually it feels like a normal fight. Uh, but I have a, uh, other than, I have a big challenge, Henry Sehudo. Otherwise it's just normal fight and I'm a professional and uh, every fight is very serious. Uh, in, in, especially in UFC, um, this fight important like before or before. Where do you think Henry is coming into this fight? Because he was here a bit ago, and on one hand, he says, if I win, I'm going to get the next title shot, then I'm going to go to 145 and fight for the belt there. But if I lose, I'm done. I'm retiring. So where do you think he is mentally? Like, Do you think it's bad for him that he seems to have one foot out the door a little bit? Uh, no, I think uh, he is the right place because there's, he talks from the facts. Uh, because if he beats me, of course, he will fight for the title because he was champion and uh, he he lost against uh, the great champion Aljamain Sterling split decision, and um, and uh, he's big name, a very good fighter. And uh, if he lost, then of course he's not gonna just keep fights, then get again the number one contender fight. It's of course it takes time. And now he has a family, he has money, and he, he, I don't think he just want to fight. He wants only gold. And uh, so if he loses against me, of course he's going to retire because it's, it's going to take more time to him come, come this, uh, take this part again. And uh, uh, so he, I think he's talking from the facts. Uh, and uh, either everything or nothing for him and that's how his mentality that's why he's dangerous because i know he will he 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 will try everything for win this fight and i'm sure he's hungry and uh, i know how hard he wants because that's how hard i want to because i i never got opportunity to fight for the title and uh, i wanna uh, you know i wanna have uh, this experience and that would be huge for me and huge for my country do you think that makes Henry more dangerous in the fight? Like you said, he's going to leave it all out there. Or do you think it's an advantage for you if you go out there and you maybe win the first round dominantly, you can sap some of his will and his energy? Uh, a fight against Henry every round will be uh, very hard for me. You know, it, it's, it's, if it's five rounds, then yeah, I will say like fourth round, the fifth round, I will be more comfortable. But three round fight, uh, Henry will be dangerous uh, a, a, any second. And um, I'm just, uh, I, uh, I'll be just uh, very focused. And um, no, I, I think it keeps him dangerous because uh, I don't think, uh, yeah, because I, I think he's mentally strong. Even he knows, you know, he has to beat me. Otherwise, yeah, he's done. And uh, He's he yeah he's fighting for beat me and he wants the belt you know there is no question here you know and um, same thing like when I was fighting Josie Aldo you know he was coming from three fight win streak when he beat Chito Vero and all other contenders and uh, if he beats me then he was supposed to fight for the title and but I beat him and then he don't wanna go back down to Lara and uh, keep coming again so it's kind of the same thing Henry so just yell after me retire so I think uh, yeah I don't think Henry wants the same thing he wants to win the belt again after he coming from retirement how many times do you think you can take down an Olympic gold medalist in 15 minutes <sighs> actually I'm not focused on this because it's a fight um, uh, he is better wrestler than me he's he has the Olympic gold you know I'm sure if you're wrestling, he, he will beat me in wrestling rules. But in MMA, I think uh, I will do very, very well against him, you know, because it's a MMA, it's a fight. It's a totally different game. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm focused on winning the fight. And uh, I don't, I'm not focused on uh, taking him down uh, because it's a, it's a fight, you know. It's not a wrestling tournament. It's not an Olympic game. You know, we understand that he has a gold medal, I know. But in MMA, I, all I want to do is just win, even if I have to just, uh, just kicking all day, you know, I will do that.
And just last thing, um, we've seen some of the great videos you put out in the lead up to this. You know, it seems like people are really enjoying them. Is this something you're doing because you feel you need to show more of your personality and get a bigger fan base going into a title fight? Or is this just always being you, now you're just getting the chance to show it? It's been always me. Uh, I like to have fun. I like to have a positivity. I like, uh, I'm fine to make uh, fun of myself, make joke of myself. And uh, I'm not afraid to people say some people, you know, like, you know, when three years ago when I post uh, accidentally, when I break ice and I, I cut my head, you know, uh, and when I had this video, I, I posted this. I was thinking, if I post this, a lot of people will say I'm a stupid. Yes, I did make a stupid accident, but this is my life. I'm not. I'm not afraid. You know, this. That's what I'm doing. You know, I'm a, I'm a fighter, and uh, this is a little crazy life. And I don't care. And I post it, and and then, yeah, everybody love it. You know. So and then uh, it's always been me. Just I have a the friend now who's helping me with editing, and it's so much easier to do this. I don't have to do the take a video by myself. You know. So it's so much easy uh, to. We do with my training so but the idea is it's my idea and whatever whatever was bothering me like even uh, uh, Henry screw up my last name and I want to teach him <laughs> to how to say my last name like I want to see the, a lot of people too like my my first name and last name same is how you read you know Mirab Tuwalish really it's I think it's simple easy and um, and also like the when uh, Champion called number six, and the number six now calling number four, and nobody want to fight me. Then that's that was my that was bothering me. That's why I make these funny videos. And then now the Henry Cejudo, Henry Cejudo uh, wasn't working with his coach, and uh, I have a video with his coach before, and I added it and I make funny video with this. So that was it. Marab, in the in the newest video that you put out, there's a scene that says how Georgians think I'm training, and it's you in the snow with the full armor. Uh, what is your background in like a traditional Georgian martial arts? To have like a Khrido lead, do you ever participate in this? I born in the village Wani, and um, uh, I was fighting all the time outside. We was wrestling, and uh, I grew up very wild. Uh, and then when I was nine, I moved to Capital City. And after a couple of years later, I started training in Judo. And uh, and my goal was to uh, uh, compete at like high level, like Olympic, World Championship in Judo. But 2008, they changed the rules. And I was I started a Sambo, but an MMA came up. And I try, and I feel love with MMA. And I realized that was my sport, and that's what I should do all my life and I transferred to MMA. So yeah, so my, my background is uh, judo and sambo. Um, yeah. And so uh, I'm just curious, what have you heard, what has Aljo helped you sort of train for this fight since he's already fought Henry rather recently? Uh, yeah, Aljo gave me good advice. Aljo told me to just do you, you know, just do your style. And uh, Henry is a good fighter, he's tricky, you know, he hits hard, he has good takedowns, everything else, but just do your style, you know. And uh, I was focused of myself, this uh, this training camp. I don't, I mean, I wasn't training specific for like, um, uh, I mean, I was, I was training, of course, with my team, I was training, of course, but like, um, I wasn't trying to bring somebody who look like Henry, who throw like kick like Henry, you know. I was just we was just focusing, just get get myself better every everywhere, or then I'm gonna do whatever I'm doing best, you know. I'm just gonna keep fight hard and uh uh yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just give me this advice then uh, just be you and I'll be me. And what is the reason that you're training in Vegas for this camp as opposed to with uh, with Ray and Matt in New York? You guys know uh, I, I I love my team Sarah Longo, but uh, like uh, four years ago when I first uh, uh, visit Las Vegas and uh, training there uh, and so much easier and I have so many training partners um, and uh, it's not get called like New York. And everything is so close and so comfortable, especially we have a UFCPI. And uh, it's very 
live in Las Vegas very peaceful for me. In New York, I have so many good friends, big Georgian community, and every day I have to go somebody's birthday or I have to pick somebody from airport or you know somebody's getting married. You know, you know, you know. I, I love, I enjoy this stuff, and I can I can never say no. So this 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 distracts me from the training. So here in Las Vegas, uh, I'm more focused and uh, I training every day and then I like the the training time like you know I can go morning practice and then go to the lunch and then I can train at night time again so New York training it's only night time and uh, you know you have to it's uh, it's good training but uh, like morning training session I have to organize which is I'm 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 very busy. I'm going. You know, I, if if I, I need I need, I need special coach for this. You know, uh, and anyway, so so Las Vegas is very comfortable for me. You know, like the training style, uh, training partners, and uh, it's. Uh, but you know, I I still have a you know like. Um, of course, uh, I, I still represent my team. Even I training at Syndicate MMA, you know, I will be always appreciate my my team, Sara Longo. Um, uh, yeah, this time I only have a three corners. I can only because of, um, I'm not I'm not main event. So, and uh, uh, I call Metzera, and he's so cool. Of course, you know, he said no problem, brother. Do your thing. And then this time I have Metzera. Uh, no. This time I have a Ray Longo my corner, Aljamai Sterling, and my coach in Las Vegas, John Wood. So, and uh, because I've been working with John Wood uh, so much, like in personal, and you know, so yeah. That's it. We're all over here. Do you think the fact that you prepare, you help prepare Aljo for his fight against Henry, plays into your favor, like? I already helped my teammate prepare for this guy. We learned from this guy at that fight, and now it's my turn. Now I know more about this guy. No, no, it's uh, it's it's not like this, you know. Yes, I did help Aljo, but even I was trying to mimicate Henry, but I'm not Henry. Uh, Aljo, not Henry. No, it's it's Henry. Is Henry? He's uh, he's, you know. No, yeah, I did study him. I did watch his fight, but you know, it's it's still challenge. You know, it's nothing, nothing is gonna help me. You know, it's I have to just do my best and just be me. You know, uh, and uh, yeah, of course those little nuances, it's it's matter, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna help me or something. <laughs> Obviously, uh, there's a big Georgian connection on this specific fight card. You're fighting Henry Cejudo, and Ilya Tapuri, who represents Georgia and Spain, is fighting for the featherweight title. So what were your guys' conversations going into this fight week, and how are you guys feeling in this special moment? Yes, you're right. This is a big moment for Georgian people. Uh, the Ilya Tapuri fighting for the belt, and uh, I'm fighting for the number one contender uh, rank and uh, all Georgians so excited um, they 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 some people are going to watch fights in stadium uh, like of course like uh, we have like a channel like Santanta sports like uh, ESPN in Georgia like so many people buy it already and uh, like so many Georgian who lives here uh, in US they are coming to fights and then the people are coming from other countries to US especially for this fight and uh, me and Ilya we just happy for each other I'm so happy for my brother you know he deserved and he's he, you know hard work pays off for him he's so smart he's he's very org org he's organizing everything his training camp you know everything like, he's so smart and strong and hard worker and uh, me, you know, um, it, this is another challenge for me. Even I, I, I think I deserved fight fight for the title. I should. I don't need another challenger. I don't have to prove again that I am number one contender. But this is what is this. I'm not making this decision. Uh, I cannot control this. Um, uh, yeah, I signed the contract. Now I'm gonna fight Henry Cejudo, and. Uh, but yeah, after this, uh, you know, uh, we talk after, you know, because, yeah. Obviously, last one's from me. Um, following UFC 292, you said 
you showed your displeasure towards Mark Goddard and the way he stops fights. So yes. in case you show up Saturday night and he's officiating your fight, how would you deal with that? Yeah, like uh, I said, I tweet, you know, I have Hobia, Mark got a Hobia, because I'm really, when I see him, I, he's already like a panicking guy, like he's always stops fights early, you know, and then I hate early stoppage. Like, as you guys see, me and Marlon Moraes, you know, like some rappers can maybe stop this fight, but I came back, right? We all see that my friend Roman Dolize got uh, dropped, right? And then, like, many rappers maybe will stop him, but he came back and he fought. I'd rather die there, you know. I have a long training camp. I training for this all my life. And, uh, you know, I'd rather go out. Like, say me what? I'm there, bro. I'm taking punches, you know. I don't need to save it. I just saw the video, the Margada's fight, and he just quit, like, in like this. I'm, I'm nothing, man. It's, uh, it's um, yeah. I'm not the guy. I'm I'm a warrior. You know, I'm a fighter. I'm not. I don't like to quit. You know, if I go out and yeah, and you see me, I can defend myself. But if I'm moving, if I'm if I'm react. Let me fight. Okay, that's my tongue. You know, I respect everybody. Just I I just please like I want to tell all the referees, uh, please no early stoppage. You know, I I I wanna be. Please let me fight, you know, and because it's it's this it's so hard like to, uh, you know, change after we make resort. You know, we all know what happened to my second fight in UFC Atlantic City when uh, I made the bell. You know, Ricky Simon was trying me trying to choke me, and I made it. But and uh, how I know is Margada was side referee, and he tell the uh, the judges and whoever commission or whatever I was in and out and uh, he said they said it's a TKO or something but if I was out why don't they stop me if they don't stop me and they let me fight they should just go to the score who win the score so uh, yeah but but the judge who the, the referee who was in the octagon he let me fight because he saw me I was fighting and my eye was open I was moving my leg and things like this man you know uh, it's uh, it's it's hard for me because I'm fighting, you know. It's I'm there, and then and uh, it's so much easier. Like you referee, and you you can stop early or something. It's easy for you, but it's not. You know, I want to fight. You know, that's it. Because I can't control. If you stop, then I'm lost. But I I'm I'm in the fight. Understand? And very last one for me. Obviously, you mentioned that you're out here in, or you're out in Vegas more often now. So you are putting in work at Syndicate in Las Vegas. So what is your favorite part about putting in the work with those great fighters and coaches that are inside that gym? Everything. Uh, I love my team and I'm, I'm still visiting back uh, New York, Long Island. You know, this is my second home, Long Island, you know. Uh, and of course, I love my coaches, Metzela and Longo. We have a great relationship. Um, I love those guys. We are a team. We are family. You know, we always will be, and I will be always appreciate. Uh, but now, uh, yeah, I, I live like 95% in Las Vegas. If I'm if I'm visit New York, of course I'm going training with my team. And then if my some uh, teammates from New York fighting, I'm gonna support, go there. But in uh, in Las Vegas, uh, okay, there's so many things I like in Vegas. So. Uh, first of all, I have a beautiful house and I live very peaceful. You know, I have a, a pool, I have a jacuzzi, which even winter time goes hot, I can just jump in, no problem, you know, I can hang out with my friends, you know, and uh, uh, the, the, the training, like I said, uh, it's easy to go morning, training, lunch in PI, and training again night time go home, hang out with my friends. I have a bar in my house now. Even I don't drink alcohol. My friends can come, enjoy the drinks. You know, I'm a Georgian uh, and then I like to pit people, you know. And uh, it's in New York, it's, everything is hard. Nobody has time. In Las Vegas, like every, my friends from other states or even my country, they come in, everybody come in Vegas. You know, everybody come in, everybody have a vacation in Las Vegas and everybody wanted to have, have a good time in Las Vegas. So, and then always you can have a nice, good time, have a fun. And same time you can be just training hard. And uh, if you want, you can have a feast too. There is so many places to hiking, running in the mountains and like this. You know, New York, it's, it's hard. Thank you. 
Thank you, everybody. Uh, I want to say for Georgians, Kenneth Solid, Cartel Bo, Zalian Gznov, Quens, Harda Cheras, Da S. Sagamo, Outsilva, Tundaikos, Chemida, Ilias, Camarjo, Vizdreda, Cheni Ertman, Ertad, Zemizdre, Amistis, Ola Presgawa Ketot, Mesta Ilias. Didi madlo ma harda cheristi saat kama ndak znaut kwenz harda cheras asebe mi da madlo baga da uchado chem sponsorships center ta sports kompan GA logistics na beglaus ta pomana juice madlo ba kolas kena solid thank you everybody.